Export to PDF is a simple yet effective feature within Document 360 that can come in handy in several situations. For example, if you have a private knowledge base but would like to share some of its content with an external partner or potential client, you can generate a PDF and just email it to them. Another scenario where this can be useful is if you wanted to archive or back up your knowledge base. Within the content tools under Import and Export, if we click Export to PDF, we'll see a couple of tabs up top. Let's first talk about the design templates, which lets you customize the look and feel of the PDF document. You'll see that a default template is already provided, but we'll create a new one, and let's name this template. The display options will allow us to design the cover page if we'd like one, and choose whether or not it comes with a table of contents. We can even add a watermark, which will appear on every page of the generated PDF. The layout section will determine the orientation and margin setup for the file. This is quite similar to common word processing applications you may be familiar with. Let's add a simple header aligned to the right. The footer lets us enable or disable page numbers and determine the alignment. The text settings lets you edit the colors for the heading, content, and any hyperlinks within the document. You also have a number of fonts to choose from along with the font size. Now we can either save this template as default or as an entirely new one. Now let's move to content templates. Enter a name for the PDF file here and for the design template, we'll choose the one we just created. We can add another level of security using a password which we can share with the intended recipient. Now select the content we want to export by first selecting the project version the language, in case you have a multilingual knowledge base, and finally, the categories and articles for export. Clicking Select All will export the entire documentation, but since we only want to export specific content, we can select the categories or articles. Once we're done, we can either save this to export later or save and export right away. Once the file is generated, we can see it in the list of templates. Each of them give you several options, you can export the PDF again in case you made any changes or clone the current template to make a brand new one. We can also edit this template or delete it altogether. Let's take a look at the PDF we just created. As you can see, utilizing the templates and design tools available with the export to PDF feature, you can create a neat, portable, and optimized PDF file that can be shared easily with anyone.